Make sure you stay until the end, we will explain about common mistake people make when replacing fuses and that can cost you quite a bit of money. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video 20. We're having a BMW 4 Series Generation F32, F33, F36. This is guys a 4 Series BMW from year 2013 to year 2020. If you have a problem where ABS or brake light on is on, guys, stay with us. We'll explain which fuses you need to check first. Always check fuses. This is the easiest and least expensive thing, okay, that can cause this problem. So uh, make sure you check these fuses. We'll explain where they're located where you can buy cheap fuses parts to use at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money why it's important to test fuses and relays all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure you stand till the end even though we have a bmw 3 series here in the garage 3 and 4 series are built on the same platform so many of the things will be about the same or really close but specifically we'll explain about bmw 4 series in this video today before we start guys, let me tell you a little bit about us. If you guys need to find fuses, relays for that BMW 4 Series generation from 2013 to 2019, we'll make video for every single fuse relay. Why? Because let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, you need to find where the fuel injector or fuel pump fuse is located. You have multiple hidden fuses, you can find it, replace it, get back on the road guys, fix that problem because otherwise, okay, you'll be stuck in the middle of nowhere. Every single car we get here at the garage guys, we take them completely apart we show you how to fix pretty much anything from transmissions, engines, bodywork, guys. All that will be on our channels. Check it out. Let me show you where you can find more about it. Right here, we have more than 10,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. And if you need to buy parts, tools, fuses for your BMW or any car at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money, we'll share the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from. So let's start on it now. So if you have ABS brake light on, which fuses you will need to check, we'll demonstrate on a 2015 BMW 4 Series. Fun fact about that car guys, you have, uh, you have by the way up to guys uh, six different fuse boxes, most people know about two or three of them, you have up to six. Uh, now the one that we need today is easy to get to, it's a well known fuse box under the hood, this is the main fuse box guys and right in front of the windshield on the passenger side behind the shock tower right here. You have one trim cover, remove it, you get to a fuse box. Once you remove the cover and open that fuse box, you get to see that layout right here. Before we guys continue, let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays. It is guys very important to test fuses and relays. On those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not, especially you can see in the JK's fuses as well. And if you guys assume, okay, let's say you remove a fuse, you look at it and you assume guys that it's a actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below so here now guys what we need to check three fuses will need to be checked if you have abs and brake line on this is towards the windshield side the front of the bmw passenger side driver side here we'll start first even if you have a missing fuse you count that spot we start with fuse number 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 fuse number 25 right here then 26 27 28 29 so okay 25 29 will need to be checked now you have another one this is the main abs pump fuse and traction control guys and we're talking about that fuse number 58 right here guys okay that 30 amp fuse hopefully the video will be helpful thank you guys for watching see you next time